Should you track your body fat when dieting and how do you track your body fat? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video, but first, let's go get a workout. What's up guys, Ryan here at TradeawayTraining.com where we help busy professionals get more results in less time through online training. When it comes to tracking progress for weight loss or for muscle growth, we have a few different options. Weight, tape measurements, progress pictures, and body fat percentage are the most popular options. Personally, I have my clients weigh daily, take a waist measurement weekly, and take progress pictures every four weeks. I do not use body fat percentage as a way to track my client's progress, but before you click away, let me explain why, and then I'll explain how you can track your body fat. When it comes to body fat tracking, there's about 10 different ways that you can measure it, but the most popular ones are DEXA, underwater weighing, body fat calipers, and bioimpedance. DEXA and underwater weighing are more accurate, but they cost money and that's if you even have a facility with the equipment available to do those two methods. Getting calipered is cheaper, but you still have to have someone else do it for you if you want it to be accurate. That leaves us with bioimpedance scales like this Renfo scale that I have right here, and that's what we're gonna be focusing on in this video. And before you ask, no, I did not receive this for free to talk about it. I actually paid for this with my own money when our previous scale crapped out. The way bioimpedance scales work is when you step on the scales, the electrical contacts send a small current through one leg and out the other. Based on the resistance of different types of body tissues and water, they will estimate your body fat percentage. Bioimpedance scales are one of the less accurate methods of tracking body fat, but they are the most convenient because you step on the scale in the morning to weigh yourself and then you also get your body fat percentage as well without having to do anything extra. One thing to keep in mind though is that the scale only sends the current through one leg, the lower abdomen, and through the other leg. So really you're only measuring the body fat of the lower half of your body, which might skew the results that it gives you. For example, I store most of my fat in my stomach and in my legs, and my arms, chest, shoulders are all relatively lean, and my back is very lean, and because of this, the scale says that I'm around 14.5% body fat, when in reality, I'm actually between 11 and 12. On the other hand, if you store most of your fat in your upper body, then the scale might say that your body fat percentage is lower than it actually is. That actually doesn't matter though. The only thing that's important for progress tracking is that it gives you consistent measurements. In other words, if the scale is always off by one or two percent, it doesn't really matter as long as you can get consistent measurements so that you can see the trend over time. So if you're dieting for fat loss, you wanna see that trend go down over time or if you are gaining, then you know you would want to see your body fat stay pretty level while you're in that gaining phase. To get the most accurate measurements, you're gonna to wanna to use the scale as soon as you get out of bed in the morning, before you eat or drink anything, before you get dressed, and after you use the bathroom. You'll also want to make sure that your feet are nice and dry, which shouldn't be a problem if you're just getting out of bed. And also you're gonna make sure that your feet are clean. So if your floor is dusty, make sure to wipe your feet off before you step on the scale. And while it's not the topic of this video, I also wanted to mention that the Renfo scale measures lots of other things as well, such as BMI, which you can completely ignore if you lift weights because the BMI scale was created for sedentary people. It also tracks fat-free body weight, subcutaneous fat, visceral fat, body water, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, basal metabolic rate, and metabolic age. And I also wanna give a huge shout out to Renfo customer support because before making this video, I was actually playing around with the app and I accidentally deleted an entire month worth of entries. And I thought that I had lost that data completely, but I called into customer support. I didn't get put on hold at all. An actual person answered the phone and they were able to restore 
all of the data that was lost. If you'd like to check out the scale, then you can use the link down in the description below. But before we go, let me ask you an important question. Bring it on in. Come on. Bring it in. Lean in. Did you like the video? If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. You can also join us over on the Treadway Training Blogcast. We are there every Sunday at 3 p.m. That's treadawaytraining.com slash blog. As always, God bless you and your family. You're awesome, and we'll see you Sunday. That was totally yesterday's workout. I should probably get back in there. Boom. 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 Boom.